Hi, this is Mike from Gamesnafu.com, here to tell you a bit about Larva Mortis, which is created by Raking the Grass and published by Meridian 4. Larva Mortis is a great retro top-down view shooter. We really love the opening credits to this game, and that is why I am showing you a bit of them here. The art is fantastic and has a great feel to it. It really fits the genre and truly prepares you for the story of the game. As I said, it's a retro, top-down view shooter. Its charm comes from many aspects of the game, and the first is the Undead Hunter main character and story. The main character is a Van Helsing type guy who travels the lands of Europe and the Americas in search of things that are just too damn evil to die. He has a pretty standard array of weapons, including six shooters, a broadsword, a shotgun, and dynamite. There are other weapons you can find along the way, such as a crossbow or machine gun. The quests are accessed through a map of the world and are played out on randomly generated indoor maps. Each room must be cleared before moving on to the next, and if you perish, you fail the mission and must start over on a new randomly generated map. Now, some would find this to be a tedious aspect, but frankly, I am pleased with it. It makes you be a little more on your toes and plan your actions a bit more mindfully. I grow ill of games that place you right back where you were when you died, like nothing ever happened. I find that style of play weak, and it promotes bad tactics and decision making. So bravo on the death penalty in Larva Mortis, even though it is only a minor inconvenience. The storyline in Larva Mortis is well written and plays like a novel of sorts. It was this aspect of the game I enjoyed the most. However, there are some other positive points I shall bring up. The musical score is fantastic and fits the horror genre perfectly. The graphics, while only a simple top-down 2D view, are great for what they are. The gameplay is also fun. Sure, it is a top-down view shooter, but the fact that the maps are random leaves you always wondering what the next room will bring. This really brought me back to my arcade days of spending my entire allowance on playing Gauntlet on a Friday evening. The game is also very stable and bug-free. There are a few cool surprises that will catch you off guard the first time you see them, like the faces and sounds that appear out of nowhere on the screen and will sometimes startle you if you have the volume turned up enough. Also, the equipment and trophy rooms were a nice touch. Raking the Grass and Meridian 4 to be commended for this release. The price is right and the gameplay is good. We look forward to more releases from Rake in the Grass and wish there were more independent developers out there that show the potential they do. Meridian 4 is also to be recognized for seeing that potential. So if you like the horror genre, miss those arcade games from the past, and are looking for a low-priced game with a great story, Larva Mortis is for you. I am giving this game a 5 out of 5 here on GameSnafu.com, as it is what it says it is and does it very well. If you enjoy Larva Mortis or this review, please drop by our forums at GameSnafu.com and let us know. See you next time.